go. Edmund Street. What's on Edmund Street? The Art Institute. Of what? Art and Design Institute. For me, I'm Art and Design Institute. <laughs> <laughs> That's my middle name. John Henry Chamberlain uh, was architect for this building. John Henry Chamberlain worked mostly in the Victorian Gothic style and was selected by John Ruskin, an architectural theorist, as one of the trustees of his Guild of St. George. The Venetian style and decoration of the building are influenced by John Ruskin's stone, Stones of Venice. The building was commissioned in 1877 to Chamberlain. Shortly after completing the designs for the Birmingham School of Art, Chamberlain died suddenly in 1883. The building began and was completed after his death by William Martin and his son Frederick Martin. Chamberlain is buried in Key Hill Cemetery in Birmingham's Jewelry Corner. The building was opened in September of 1885 and is listed as a grade one building by the National Trust. It remains the home of the university's Department of Fine Art today called the Birmingham Institute of Art and Design. It cost it costed twenty one thousand two hundred and fifty four pounds, a large sum which was entirely sponsored by donations given by the Tangy brothers, five brothers who found success from selling industrial equipment, and Louisa Ryland, who was a major benefactor to Birmingham. Her donations helped save large areas of land later used to create several public parks, such as Cannon Hill Park. The building is widely known as Chamberlain's masterpiece. The red brick Victorian Gothic structure of this building is also seen in the Icon Gallery, another building he had designed. So, if any of you could read, you could read this little monument sign that says that this building was erected by the Corporation of Birmingham for use as a school of art, which means that it's always been an art school building and nothing else. What kind of medium do you guys do yourselves? Uh, sculpture. Sculpture and? I'm in uh, painting at the moment, painting and montage. Cool. Where do you see yourself in 20 years? <laughs> Drunk. <laughs> <laughs> the Birmingham Institute of Art and Design is one of the largest and most prestigious institutes of art, architecture, and design education in the United Kingdom, with a history that traces back to 1843. BIAD offers a range of highly respected and popular courses, including National Diplomas and the Foundation Diploma in Art and Design. They offer a wide range of courses that suit all professional ambitions for a career in art and design, such as jewelry and silversmithing, fashion design, interior design, landscape architecture, and visual communication. They also offer master's and doctoral studentships, such as art and, art and education, design management, fashion styling, and fashion promotion. Many students have won national and international awards over the years, such as Best Short for the Rolling Stock Film Festival, Gold Prize in the Goldsmiths Craft and Design Award, and First Prize in the British Metal Art Society. Some companies and employers that past students are now working with include Burberry, Cadbury's, Harvey Nichols, Marks and & Spencer, and Nike. The National Trust has chosen to protect this special place because the building is remarkable and the architect has close ties with Birmingham. Thank you.